Hello everybody, Kelly Atchison at estampabove.com coming to you from Menasha, Wisconsin. We are going to be making some fun projects tonight and I can see already that we have a much better connection. So I'm so sorry for the mess last week. Um, I thank you guys so much for all your helpful hints. There really was nothing I could do about the quality of the video. It was a connectivity problem with the internet and I don't even really think it was my internet. I think it was the internet in general because there were other live videos that night that had problems with the blurring in and out. So yeah, um, I really apologize for it. But again, there's nothing I could have done about it. Believe me, I have all my eggs in a row for this. <laughs> Meaning that I upgraded my phone last fall. I paid an exorbitant amount of money for it to be ready for this. I jacked up my internet service at home again so that I had a fast speed to be ready for this. All kinds of crazy stuff. So, hi Carol, hi Becky, hi Shelly. For those of you that will be joining this video on YouTube, this is a live feed every Sunday night on Facebook and um, you'll find it in my Facebook page which is called a stamp above dash your creative coach you can tune in every Sunday night at 7 p.m. Central Time and watch me live where you'll be able to participate and comment and ask questions and there are prizes yay for prizes Hi, Janet. Thank you so much. I'm feeling really good. We had a super busy day today. Um, we had a pool party. So I hosted 21 people here today and kids and we did a Mexican fiesta. If you guys were on my page, I just posted a couple pictures of our fun today. And uh, yeah, so six o'clock came around. Everybody went home. I went upstairs and took a shower and oh my gosh, I feel so refreshed. It's very, very hot here and humid. Hi, Lisa. Hi, Shelly. Hi, Becky. So glad you guys are able to tune in. This is awesome. So I think there's a few things I need to cover, or I should say recover, from last week. I know I promised to show you a whole bag of swap cards that I never did because, you know, I forget. Um, I have a list. Yeah. So that's supposed to help me not forget, but even with the list, I'm still forgetting. So, <laughs> hi Susan, hi Chris, hi Janet. Um, so, um, I'm going to show you some swap cards tonight. I'm going to show you the cards that I have using the Blended Seasons bundle. That's our August promotion, and it really is a beautiful bundle. Mickey golfed in the rain. Well, I'm glad you didn't get struck by lightning. <laughs> My husband's a big golfer, so I know you had fun. Tell me where you guys are coming from as you're popping on here. I do give away prizes for commenting. Um, and so that basically lets me know that you watched because once this isn't live anymore, if you didn't leave a comment, I won't know that you watched it. And I like everybody to get in the drawing. You also get in another drawing for sharing this video and you can click on the share button right now and share my video. I so appreciate that. Yeah, Karen, uh, I don't think we're going to have any internet issues tonight, thank goodness, because what a nightmare that was. Hi, Susan. Hi, Mary Lynn. Hi, Mary. I do still have a vacation glow, don't I? Yay! Denise, Heather, Linda, welcome. Okay, so one thing I forgot to do last week is I forgot to share the cards that I got in the mail. So I'm going to quickly do that because they were absolutely beautiful. And I have to, sh I, I don't think I shared this one um, the time before, but this is my envelope. And isn't that pretty? This is one of our stencils. So I love, love, love that. And then check out this card. I know it's backwards. It says hugs, sending you hugs. There we go. How pretty is that? And this is from, I believe, Suzette. Yep, Suzette Lewis. So thank you, Suzette, if you're watching. Thank you so much for the card. 
Um, it was a happy belated birthday card because she was out of town on my birthday. And then look what she did here on the inside. She also stenciled it a little bit. So very pretty. And let's see. Um, Faye Marion sent me a gorgeous card. And I think this uses the paper pumpkin kit. One of the paper pumpkin kits. And let's see. I think this was a thank you card. Oh, because she won a prize. So she sent me a thank you card because she won a prize. And hi, Shelby. Hi, Marissa. So thank you very much, Faye. This is a beautiful card. Absolutely love it. And then let's see. Oh, I wanted to share this very pretty sympathy card that I received from um, Luann. Luann Lee, thank you so much. That was so kind of you. Um, as most of you know, I had an uncle that passed away um, several weeks ago now. And so that was really sweet. That was a nice surprise. Not that, not that my uncle passed away. That was not a nice surprise. But that I got a sympathy card from Luann. So thank you. And then Rose Bell from Grandview, Washington sent me this cute little card. Isn't this just adorable? Oh, thank you, whoever just said they loved my vellum card. Yes, that was a lot of fun to make, too. I'm going to take just a second to log in so I can see your comments. They stay on my screen. Well, I have a bigger screen on my laptop. Hi, Kim. Hi, Michelle. You guys pop in. Let me know where you're coming from. And here we go. Okay, good. Everything's looking good here. Akron, Ohio. Oh, Shelby said she loved the vellum overlay card. Thank you, Shelby. That's very sweet of you. And um, Rose sent me a thank you card for your friendship and videos. So thanks, Rose. That is just so thoughtful and sweet. And then I got a thank you card from Rosie. And Rosie was is my mom's friend that went on the Alaskan cruise with us. And um, Rosie just really wanted to thank me for allowing her to come on the trip with us. And she says she still has to pinch herself even to feel that it was real because it was something that she so wanted to do. So that was really sweet. Um, let's see. Those are the cards that I received this week. So that's wonderful. Oh, Lisa has me on her phone and iPad. Well, nothing like double duty, right? <laughs> Okay, um, if you guys want to, if you missed this, this is the vellum overlay card that I made earlier this week. This is featured in a video on my blog. Thanks for the love. Hi, Deb. Hi, Judy. Hi, Kathy from Redford, Michigan. Here is the inside. Isn't that just beautiful? I colored these with our Stampin' Blend alcohol markers, which makes you look like a complete artist, I might add. And then this also opens up again so you have some place to write. And then we have a little panel on the back here. Hi, Sandy Carlson. Glad you could tune in. So really, really fun card. I'm elegant, beautiful, love it. And then I also, I don't have my blueberry card, but here's my strawberry card from our um, July paper pumpkin kit. Isn't this cute? I make... Um, at least a couple alternate ideas using the paper pumpkin kit every month and I also collaborate with some other demonstrators where my paper pumpkin subscribers get a PDF fi file emailed to them every month with at least eight different alternate ideas using that monthly kit so if you've ever thought about trying out the paper pumpkin kit I highly recommend it between now and August 10th, when you subscribe, you can get your first month for 50% off, which is a great deal. And um, it's super fun. You get a little, you get a box in the mail every month with a kit in it. And lots of times it's for eight cards. Sometimes it's for, like this last month, they had little like berry baskets and then little three, um, three by three cards. And again, these are some of the elements out of that kit that I made this card with. So if you're interested in that, I'll try to remember after the videos um, we're done with our live. And I'll post the link to my paper pumpkin store where you just go in, fill in your information, and um, do a subscription. And each month, 
that kit will come to you. Now, what happens if you're, like, let's say there's a lot of people who um, go south for the winter. This is a great thing to have shipped to you when you're going south for winter. But let's say that you don't want your subscription to be piling up at your house while you're gone on an extended vacation. You can go into your account and suspend it. It'll stay suspended until you go back in and reactivate to um, continue the subscription. So it's a pretty cool deal. Who doesn't love getting, it's like getting a present in the mail every month. My husband, he always says, your pumpkin thing is here. <laughs> so it's like, oh, yay. So um, I highly encourage you. They're a lot of fun. Hi, Lisa. Thanks for the share, Heather. I appreciate it. Then I wanted to get on to our winners from last Sunday. I love giving stuff away. And um, we have, for commenting, like you guys are doing right now, uh, Rose Bach of Winfield, West Virginia. Uh, can you see these? Yep, there we go. You are going to get a pack of the White Perfect Accents. And these are really cool. You can color them with our alcohol markers and make them any color you want. So, or you can leave them clear. So that's for um, Renee Bach. Did I say Rose? I don't know, but it's Renee Bach of Winfield, West Virginia. Renee, if you're watching tonight, will you please um, pop me an instant message, a private message with your address so I can get these in the mail to you tomorrow. And then we have for sharing the video last week, we had Gosh, I want to say there was like 75 shares. That's awesome, you guys. Thank you so much. I just can't even tell you how much I appreciate that. Um, oh, Janet, you're only able to suspend for one month for the paper pumpkin. Hmm, that's interesting. Because I thought you could suspend for longer. I think you can go back in and suspend for another month and go back in and suspend for another month. I think you can do that. You can also, like... Uh, cancel and then renew again so I, I don't think there's any problem with that all right our next winner thanks for telling me that though I appreciate it our next winner is Denise Krieger from Appleton Wisconsin Denise I have the striped scallops embossing folder for you and that's for sharing oh thanks Barb my friend Barb is on she just said that you can suspend your subscription one month at a time so um, thanks for that clarification I appreciate it um, and next we have another winner for placing an online order in my store I have Kay Ackers of Boise Idaho and are you ready for this Kay this beauty is yours. Healing Hugs is like the most gorgeous stamp set. You are going to love this. Holy cow. So I will be putting these all in the mail tomorrow. And Renee Bach, please make sure you um, send me your address so that I can get these out too. Because I don't know when I'm going to get to the post office after tomorrow. It takes me a couple days. Hi, Tammy. Jody, thank you. Okay. Um, I have a new online class coming on August 25th. It will be posted on my blog, and that's www.astampabove.com. And it is using the Blended Seasons bundle, which we're going to be using tonight. I've really been having a lot of fun with that bundle. So you can watch for that. My online classes are, I believe this one is, it's got some special projects in it. Um, there's going to be a box and a set of cards to go with it, plus um, like eight other card ideas. Each one has its own individual video. So it's just like you're in a class with me, only you're at home while you're watching it. You can get the online class free when you purchase a bundle of products from me. And that bundle is going to... Let's see. Hang on a second. Let me see if I can find that information quickly. I know it was here earlier today. And I don't see it right now, but watch for it on my blog. Okay, one last look. <laughs> watch for it on my blog. 
Um, it's the stamp set, the matching framelits, and I believe there's some ribbon and something else included in, oh, the colored pencils included in a special bundle that I have put together. When you buy the bundle of products from me, you get the online class for free, and that's a $25 value, completely free, because you have made that purchase from me. So um, you can watch for that coming up on August 25th. Will I have the info on my blog? Yes, Janet, I will. Thanks for the share, Carol. Thanks, Marilyn. I appreciate it. Okay. Um, we have a brand new mini catalog coming out September 5th. As a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, or if you're on my team as a discount shopper, you get to order, I get to order early from that holiday mini catalog. Oh, <laughs> Shelby, look at Shelby. She just said, you have a package in the background. Is it stamping up? Um, can you guys see that huge box? Right there. Yep, that's my pre-order. And can I just say that I lost all control? <laughs> and that happens a lot with me and pre-orders. I have no control. So I will be sharing that with you. So hang tight. Good eye, Shelby. Way to, way to be looking in the background. While you're looking in the background, you can see right here that I still haven't patched up my wall. <laughs> but I did clean my office um, this morning. I Well, I cleaned it, you guys know, a couple weeks ago, but I got it all picked up and straightened up. Except for, you see all those cards over there? Yeah, those are bins of cards, and I need to um, do something with those because other than that, my room looks amazing. I'm almost ready to figure out my new... Uh, desk. I'm going to put a new desk right in the middle of the room so I can use all four sides of it. I'm super excited about that. Got to make a run to Ikea and see what I need, but first I need to figure out what I'm going to do, right? And that's all time consuming. Anywho, um, so back to the mini catalog. If you don't have a Stampin' Up! demonstrator and you would like a mini catalog from me, just, um, Give me a private message with your address. I would be happy to send one to you. I do expect my mini catalogs to be coming in next week. If you're in my stamp clubs that are local, I will be bringing them with to the August stamp club date. So you'll get them then. And um, I can mail them out right away. So let me know if you need them. I know, Kim. Ikea run. Woohoo! We have an Ikea now in Milwaukee for those of you that aren't familiar with this area and I'm pretty excited about that yeah Lisa just went to it it's in Oak Creek which is by Milwaukee I'm super excited to get there too okay we have an on-stage event that's our convention for Stampin Up and whether you have joined my team as a discount shopper or as a business builder you can go to um on stage and I just hesitated because somebody says my video is freezing I don't know who that was but I have to tell you that's on your end because I'm watching it here on my computer and mine is not freezing we are good yeah Barb thank you Deborah it's your internet your internet speed is just not fast enough to continually stream this video and that's why it's freezing on you I'm sorry um, okay so on stage Orlando you guys, I just bought an airline ticket from Appleton, Wisconsin to Orlando, Florida. And when I buy tickets out of Appleton, it's usually pretty expensive because flying out of our little tiny um, airport is pricey, right? Sometimes I just do the drive to Milwaukee. I bought an airline ticket for $272. What? That's never happened before. I will be in Orlando in November, and anybody who's on my team will have the opportunity to register. I think registration starts on August 13th, which is um, only like a little bit more than a week away. And um, yeah, Elizabeth, Ikea in Oak Creek. <laughs> um, so everybody can go to on stage, and it's Stampin' Up's 30th anniversary. Holy cow. When they had their 25th anniversary convention in... Um, um, Salt Lake City, sorry. I'm reading, I'm reading, and then I'm thinking, and I'm reading and thinking. You can see that that doesn't work good. Barb, thank you. Registration begins on August 14th. So, um, they gave away so much stuff at the 25th anniversary, and now we're on our 30th anniversary. Thanks, Kathy Miller. And, um, 
yeah, I'm excited. And anybody can go to that as long as you are on my team. Um, anybody can go. So it's super fun. And let's see, um, what else do we have going on? We have a brand new promotion. Bonus days has started as of August 1st. For every $50 that you order in my online store, you get a $5 coupon to be used in September. So that's awesome. Um, let's see. I shared my cards. Do you guys want to see my pre-order? Who wants to see my pre-order? I can tell you that I want to see my pre-order. <laughs> While I did slice open the top of my box, I did not look at it yet. So, all right, let's see the loot. I think what I'm going to do, you guys, is I'm going to turn you around so that I can show you stuff and it's not reading backwards. And we will go through and look at all the loot. Hang tight. Okay, if you get uh, motion sickness, you want to close your eyes. I will tell you when you should open them. Um, and bear with me. Now, if you get disconnected from my live feed, you just need to connect on the title, click on the title at the top left of the page, and you will be able to scroll down and find me again. Today is August 5th, and my live feed has a description of Facebook Live August 5th. So hang tight. We're going to do this. And I'm flipping. So far, so good. I don't want to jinx myself. You know how many problems we have had. <laughs> never ends. Sometimes it seems like it never ends. Okay, here's our hostess code. If you are going to place an online order in my store, you want to use this code. That'll get you some special perks with me. Okay, what did she just say? I'm sorry, I can't seem to get the freezing fixed. I've done everything. Well, um, Deborah, the only thing you can do is go back and watch this. I will post it on my Facebook page, but you're freezing because your internet connection isn't that great. So I'm sorry. That's um, frustrating, I know. All right, so we have a packing slip. Let's bring on the fun. This is the corrugated dynamic textured embossing folder. And I am super duper excited about this item because I loved corrugated cardboard. And I loved that, what was that thing that, that you could put your paper through and it would corrugate it? Well, this is an embossing folder that does the same thing. So I am super excited. Yeah, Pam, my um, airline ticket was for round trip. Yes. So crazy, right? I know. Okay, and let's see. I've got some framelits here. Oh, here comes some new ribbon. Ooh, look at how pretty that is. So we've got some new um, burlap ribbon here with a white and then red stripe in the middle. Oh, look at how cute these are. These are called Enamel Shapes, Santa's Workshop Enamel Shapes. These are adorable. Oh, I forgot to tell you guys, you can open your eyes. <laughs> I think you figured it out, right? Crimper, Janet. Yes, it was called a crimper. I loved crimping stuff. Oh my gosh, look how pretty this is. This is our um, glitter organdy ribbon, and it's black, and it sparkles. And who doesn't love sparkles? All right, I've got multiples of some things here. So let's see. Ooh, how pretty is this? Chicken wire elements, it's called. And does it say in here there's six sheets of this that you can use a full sheet on the front of your card or you can use just a piece of it? These are going to be fun, fun, fun. Okay. Oh, these are so, so cool. Um, these are called Snowflakes and Stars Wire Elements. Yay, I know! Show me the love, show me the love. Yes, Joy, you can get rid of your crimper. We have an embossing folder. Okay, look at how fun these are. 
oh my gosh, these are the bomb. And these are copper, so that's very trendy right now. I love, love, love these. These are going to be super pretty. They're going to be a great thing to put on little boxes, on scrapbook pages, on your cards. Yep, we can do them on the cards. Then I got these cutie patootie little bags, Santa bags. And you know you can stamp on these too, so those are really cool. Um, thanks, Heather, for the update. We have 172 watching right now. That's awesome. Please don't forget to share the video. I certainly appreciate that. And I'm going to bundle up these stamp sets with the matching framelits. So I'll show those to you in a minute. Oh, look at these. Frosted and clear epoxy droplets. I need to see these. Like, these look delicious. I know, Shelby, I love copper, too. Oh, my gosh. You go, oh, look at how pretty these are. Frosted and clear. They're just very shiny, and these are just very soft. These are gorgeous. All right, this will be fun putting all this stuff away later. I'm not going to waste your time trying to get things back into packages. And then we have these, and these are festive farmhouse elements. There's two sheets of these, and these are little wooden elements that you can put on your scrapbook pages or cards. Those are going to be fun. Um, when I said I don't have a lot of control <laughs> when I order out of these mini catalogs, so in case you guys don't know, I'm not the most organized person in the world, and I'm sure my friend Barb is laughing her butt off right now going, yeah, she's really not. Um, look at this. This is braided linen trim. Ooh, that's pretty. I like that. So I tend to buy at least one of every embellishment in the catalog because I'm not a good person to plan ahead. So um, it's just easier. It makes my life easier if I just have one of each, like ribbon and all these little, all these little elements. I, I usually buy at least one of each so that I can carry on with my stamping life. This gorgeous thing is called Tin Tile. This is one of our dynamic folders. Look at how beautiful that is. Oh my lord. I can't wait to use that. And here, you guys, is one of those bigger envelopes that you can put your 6x6 DSP in after you've opened the pack. So remember that little tip I gave you? This is another one, same thing. This is going to be, I think, big enough. I think this will be big enough. Mm, maybe not, but this one is. So don't throw out those envelopes. We can, we can reuse those. Okay, we've got some more stamp sets here. I know this stamp set does not have a matching framelit set, but isn't this gorgeous? And I am just a sucker for anything with pheasants in it because I have pheasant hunters in my family and I have pheasant feathers that I have requested. So I love to make cards with real pheasant feathers when we have pheasant stamp sets. This is a great masculine set and of course wonderful for, for fall. Okie dokie, here we go. Let's see what else I have here. I've got lots of... Lots of framelits, lots of stamp sets. Did I tell you I didn't have a lot of control? <laughs> Here's the Buffalo check background. Um, checkered patterns are very popular right now. So I had to have that. Uh, let's see. We're going to set this aside for now. What is this? Oh, these are some cool little clips. Let's see if I can get the bag open show these to you. Oh yeah, these are like little, little clips you can clip on your cards. It's a cute little um, silver, like a brushed silver element. Those are fun. What are they called? Galvanized clips. Oh, that's a fancy word for that, right? Let's see, I've got some more stamp sets here. Whoops, my pile's gonna fall over, so hang tight. There are some new Stampin' Blends available in this mini catalog. And by new, I mean new colors. So that's pretty exciting. Let me see if I can find all of them in here. Um, oh, here's another one. So we've got <gasps> Mango Melody. This is like one of my favorite new colors. So we've got Mango Melody. What is this one? Dark Blackberry Bliss. I love Blackberry Bliss. 
dark real red and light real red. We've got dark basic black and light basic black. And that's great because these are just in time for Halloween cards. That's exciting. Light Cajun Craze, and I'm sure there's some dark ones that go with these too. So I'm excited about that. Oh, look at these little beautiful things. Hang on, I need to get my scissors. Because carefully I don't stab myself. We don't want any injuries tonight, right? Okay, look at how pretty these are. These are little white iridescent wreaths. These are gorgeous. I am gonna have so much fun with these. They're called Iridescent Boxwood Wreath Embellishments. Those are super, super cute. Shelby says she only has a few blends. Yes, you need to get more. They are the bomb. I love them. <gasps> this ribbon. I might have to open this and show it to you. Let's see. It's called Reversible Ribbon, and it's Mary Merlot and Copper. So you guys saw my little tip about how to open up this ribbon, right? That was from my friend Barb, so that maybe, maybe I can handle it so you don't stab yourself. Oh my gosh, I can't get the paper to come up. Um, there we go. Ooh, look at this. It's coppery on one side and Mary Merlot with copper edges on the other side. This is just delicious. Can't wait to use that. Okay. And it just doesn't stop, you guys. <laughs> these are silver and gold edged cards and envelopes. And aren't these beautiful? Mm. I'm going to have fun with these. And we have some more embellishments here. Oh, these are some buttons. And they are called, oh, galvanized buttons to go with the galvanized clips. Ooh, look how pretty those are. Wow. I had no idea. These are, I love these. Okay, so we'll be doing some stuff with buttons. Don't you worry. Let's see. We have some more Stampin' Blends. This is Dark Shaded Spruce. So I'm assuming there's going to be a light shaded spruce. I got some kind of a kick here. I don't know what that is. Oh, here's some more embellishments. Let's take a look at these. Spider trinkets. Ah, I love Halloween. Look at how cute these are. I hope this shows up. I'm going to stand up and see if I can. Now, you guys that thought my phone was focusing in and out last week, you can see that it clearly doesn't do that. So it stays focused. It's a pretty good foam. Oh my gosh, these are so cute. I am going to be working on Halloween stuff tonight because I have a bunch of swaps that I've joined. Oh, and then we have these little stars. I got some of these when I was on the Alaskan cruise. The stars and Christmas trees and, and I think that's what's in here. There's no other shapes. Not that we need any. That's, that's plenty of shapes. So those are super cute. Here comes a new punch. What is this called? The Sprig Punch. And the Sprig Punch goes with the bundle. Let me see if I can find the matching stamp set here just from memory. You guys know that I don't have that good of a memory. But I think I know which one it goes. I think it goes with the first frost. Look at that gorgeousness. I love, love, love watercolor images. And this is beautiful. I'm excited about that. Okay. Um, these are some boxes, and these are baker's boxes. I think these will fit a, like a cupcake size, so they're pretty cool. I love doing stuff with boxes and gift giving. Here is some shaded spruce, I believe. Nope, Tranquil Tide Velvet Ribbon. It's like our Rich Razzleberry Velvet Ribbon. Perfect for Christmas, right? Then we have, ooh, this punch is called the Candy Cane Builder Punch. I'm super excited about this too because it goes with this candy cane stamp set and how adorable. We've got two-step stamping here with the bow and two-step stamping with the candy cane. Love it. Okay. I know, it just never stops, does it? <laughs> 
Santa's Workshop Memories and More Card Pack. We'll be doing some projects with this, but this is stinking adorable. Do you guys want me to open it? Because I probably should. Let's see if I can do it without stabbing myself. It seems to be kind of a theme for me. Okay. Here we go. Oh my gosh, how cute are they? Oops. Man. Now, this is great for scrapbooking with our um, Memories and More scrapbooking um, page dividers. But you can also use these, you guys, to make cards. And they are great little um, elements to make your card making super, super fast. So let's take a look here. This is the back. Oh, how cute is that? Tree time. Whoops. <laughs> yeah. And they're all just so, so cute. Look at that. This is just happens to be a really cute pack of these. Joy. I like to use them to put notes in with the prizes that I send you guys. These are great for writing on little notes. Perfect. All right. And then I think I'm going to keep the rest of these. I'll show these to you when I decide to do a project with them. I'll just put these in here. But that's what a Memories and More Santa's Workshop card pack is. Super fun. And then we have six by six glimmer paper. Oh my gosh, I must open. I love anything with glitter. And you'll find that our glimmer paper we have in silver, gold, pink, red, and um, white is a new like configuration that does not shed glitter pieces all over the place. Like it's really nice. Look, oh, look at deep, deep red here and a beautiful color of green. This looks like it matches the shaded spruce really well. Just in time for Christmas. There are 24 sheets in this pack, so that's awesome. Let's see, I know, I agree with you, Megan. Glitter, anything, I love it too. Okay, well, we still, we're still we still going to town here. We've got some Garden Green Baker's Twine. Look at how big that roll is. Holy cow. And then we've got a Festive Farmhouse Cotton Twine. These are nice, too. I love Baker's Twine. It's that little extra something that you can always add to your card. It doesn't cost hardly anything. <gasps> are you guys ready to see this? Project Kit Timeless Tidings. Look at how beautiful these cards are. Yeah, show the love. Yeah, Michelle, OMG is correct. Um, it's dangerous. This mini catalog, like I said, I've lost control on other mini catalogs, but I don't know if I've been as bad as I was here. <laughs> Here's the other um, marker that goes with the um, shaded spruce. So that's the light, and this is the Cajun Craze Dark. Where did those go? Over here. Okay, we're kind of getting down there a little bit. Oh, here's that other marker I was looking for, Blackberry Bliss Light, so that's cool. Um, we have some 12 by 12 cardstock here in, um, it looks like real red and, hmm, call me Clover maybe? I am not sure, but anyways, it's Christmas colors and it's 12 by 12, so that's great for making scrapbooking pages or um, different fun folds or boxes that needs bigger paper. That's always awesome. I always buy those 12 by 12 packs because that's the only time you can get them. We don't sell them anymore as a rule. We have black foil sheets, you guys, and I was super excited about this because we've never had this color before. Let me show them to you. It's the little things that get me really excited. Look at that. Ooh, beautiful. Thank you, Stampin' Up! Halloween is going to be amazing. Oh, did you guys see that? Did I have that on camera? I hope so. I know, I'm getting a little carried away. Like I said, I haven't seen this stuff yet either. I opened the box, but I did not dig in it to see what all the stuff was. Look at how beautiful this is. This is the Frosted Floral Specialty Paper, and that goes along with this sweet with this punch, and the first frost is this paper. So it's like a whole suite of products. 
you guys want me to open it? Yeah, I know you do. That was just a little silly question, right? <laughs> like, are you crazy, girl? Yeah, we want it opened. Oh, and this has a special, like, glimmery sheen to it. <gasps> Look how beautiful that is. Holy cow. Oh, this is gorgeous. Look at that. Wow. This is just... And it's all, like, pearlized. That's what it is. It's pearlized. Here's the back of that one. These are some fabulous color combinations. <gasps> Look at that. Look at this. Cute little flowers. Oh, my gosh. Lovely. This is beautiful. And, again, that was called Frosted Floral Specialty Designer Series Paper. <gasps> And I had to have three right away. I know me pretty well. <laughs> Holiday mini catalog. When you are a discount shopper or a business builder under me, once you put in a demonstrator order during a pre-order period, they will send you a hard copy of the mini catalog. And as much as I'd love to show you the inside of this, we have been asked by Stampin' Up! not to. I'm just glad we can show you the products the stuff we got on the Alaskan cruise and this front cover because there's a lot of things you can see on here. There's a lot of dyes in here. Oh my goodness. I have this set. Beautiful. This one. Beautiful. Oh my gosh. This one is going to and that one. Yeah, I can't stop. Look at this reindeer. I have that one too. So then we have some Festive Farmhouse Designer Series Paper. That's another thing that I always um, tend to buy is all the different Designer Series Papers because, like I said, I'm not the most organized person in the world. I don't plan ahead very well. So I never know what I'm going to need at my fingertips. Look at the whitewash. That is whitewash wood. That is gorgeous. <gasps> Red stripes. And some good old Christmas plaid. That's pretty. Some more wood. Oh, and it says, Happy Seasons of Cheer, Tidings, and all kinds of good stuff. That's cute. Hang on. Oh, and some more plaid. That's pretty. This looks like cherry cobbler to me. I don't know for sure because I didn't really read it. Look at that. This is gorgeous, gorgeous paper. And again, this is called Festive Farmhouse. This goes with a whole bundle of products. And, holy cow, are you guys sick of me yet? <laughs> This is so fun. I love fun stamp sets. This is called Santa's Workshop Specialty Designer Series Paper. And I'm going to open this up because it is just adorable. And I'm pretty sure I got the stamp set that matches it and the framelit. So hang tight. Yeah, Lisa, it does look like vellum and parchment paper. It's just so beautiful. Look at how fun this is. Yipper. And it's like embossed. These are raised dots on here. Snowmen. Cute. Christmas trees. I see some little elves. Those are adorable. And the back. I love that the back of the paper is just a pattern, right? Because what if you don't need a cutesy designer series paper? You can always just use the patterns. This would be Mickey Mouseable. Right? If you have some scrapbooking to do or want to make a Mickey Mouse card, red polka dots, yeah. Look at how cute this is. And then some green with a pattern. Ooh, look at that. Oh, this is velvet, you guys. It's raised velvety stripes. Stampin' up, you're killing me. This is awesome. And then some really cute paper. How fun. And some candy canes. I love this. Now, the last time we had a really cute um, color in stamp set for the holidays, I did not buy it. So I, and I regretted that because there were so many cute things I saw that I just knew I had to have it. Here is the stamp set that goes with it. And um, there's framelits. Thank you very much, Kathy. Uh, let me see. Here we go. Santa's signpost. I think these are the framelits that go with this. And I am going to show them to you because I believe 
that some of these may cut out the images, like the little elf guy right here. I think this cuts out that little elf. Oh, here's the granny. So it, the, the framelits cut out these images on the paper also. So that's super, super cool. Like, don't you love it when stuff is so versatile? Yeah, Gina, you could punch out candy canes with that striped velvet paper. That is very true. So here's this stinking adorable bundle. Oh, love it. I'm going to be starting to plan my Christmas events. I have a, well, and of course I had to get, yeah, not one, not two, but three packs. <laughs> yeah. I'm not going to hoard this paper either. I'm really going to use it. Then we have the Dashing Along Designer Series paper, and I think this is a promotion that's coming up, isn't it? Yeah, Lisa, I'm killing me too. <laughs> I'm gonna save this. Um, I'm not gonna show this to you right now because I think that is our September promotion. I showed you this paper, All is Bright Designer Series paper, so I've already showed that to you in a previous video. But here is the Country Lane Designer Series paper, and I believe this goes with something else that I showed you. Um, it's part of a bundle. Oh, that farmhouse. Oh, no. I don't know. Anyways, let's... Oh, no, this is its own bundle. Sorry, I got confused. There's a lot of stuff we have to learn when we have a new mini catalog coming out. <gasps> I love Blackberry Bliss. Don't you love it, love it, love it? Look at how gorgeous this is. This paper is just so, like, very rich, deep colors. Love this. I love crushed curry. Then we have some wood print and some cool stripes. And then this looks like cotton. This looks like a cotton plant, so that's cool. And more Blackberry Bliss, one of my favorite colors. And some more Little Cotton. And some more Blackberry Bliss. This looks like that embossing folder that I showed ya. And some pumpkins. Well, these are really gourds. We can call them pumpkins if we want. We can call them whatever we want. And some more patterned paper. I love our paper. I love that you can use a little piece of it as this side and then you can take a strip and flip it over and use it as an accent because our carts, it all coordinates, right? What is this? Galvanized steel metallic paper. Oh, I only got one of these. Well, that's shocking. <laughs> I'm sure I'll be ordering some more as soon as I start working with it, right? Oh, look at that. Oh, look at that. Both sides. This is like galvanized steel. This is going to look really cool embossed in an embossing folder, I'll bet. Uh, yeah. Can't wait to do that. Okay, now we're going to look at the bundles um, of stamp sets with matching framelits. As soon as I get this put back together. There we go. Okay. So, you guys remember, let me grab my owl punch. I need owl punch. Let me grab my bat punch. It's not an owl punch. This is called uh, Spooky Bats Punch. It's got three bats on it, and here's the stamp set that matches it. So that's cool. I love this kind of crazy little image, like sky, spooky sky, right? Okay, I'm going to bring my box back here because I'm going to have to put this all back in here. Um, it's time for a beverage break. What are you guys drinking tonight? What's on your menu? Ah, this is sweet Pepsi. You guys know I've been dieting. I only gained two pounds when we went on the Stamp It Up um, cruise. So that's really good because there's food everywhere on a cruise. But I do have to say this weekend I kind of took a break. And um, I usually have one Pepsi a day because it is the nectar of the gods for me. I absolutely love it. <gasps> Look at this. So what are you guys drinking? Water. Lisa's drinking water. Water. You guys are so good. Like that's so good for you. Yeah, I'm not that good. <laughs> um, this goes with that frosted. Oh, maybe I was wrong. Maybe this goes with it. First frost and frosted bouquet. I'm sure. Yeah, this goes with that. Sorry. The punch doesn't go with it, but you could certainly use the punch with it. Not going to hurt anything. And... I, I'm hosting a bundle swap. Um, I do a different bundle every month with some other Stampin' Up! demonstrators. We send each other two cards we design, and this is going to be our August bundle. So you'll be seeing lots of great ideas using this bundle from me. 
and put that back in the box. Oh, you guys remember the stamp set with the, um, where did that go? Hang on, I've got all this stuff packed up here. I went over to somebody's house to stamp, and now I don't know what I did with it. Well, there's a punch that goes with this stamp set. And it's a, um, a Christmas bulb, like uh, the light bulb, Christmas light bulb. This is a stamp set that coordinates with that. So there's another stamp set and a punch, and that's what this is right here. Oh, Mary has iced tea. The punch goes with Peaceful Noel. Thank you, Barbara. I appreciate that. I always appreciate help because, like I said, it takes a while to learn all this stuff. Oh, I have this to show you. What is this? Christmas Traditions Punch Box. Oh, look at this beautifulness. Here we go. Are you ready? Are you ready? I'm going to unveil this puppy. Oh, my gosh. This is adorable. These come with a black and this adorable stamp set. Let's see if I can put some color behind it so you can see it a little. I don't know if this will help. Oh, here's a card. Hang on. Well, that doesn't really, it's not really helpful, but it's got some great little images in it. And get the punch out. Hang on, we're gonna dismantle the whole thing because I know you guys wanna see this. Right. <laughs> yeah, you get two stampin' spots, a real red and a call me clover, and then this cute little punch that matches the stamped images, or the stamps, I should say. One is uh, Jingle All the Way Christmas, Holly Jolly, Merry and Bright. Yeah, so this is really cool. This is a nice little nice little kit. This makes a great gift too because you get ink, a block, the stamps, and a punch. All you need is paper and glue, right? Okay, let me see if I can put this back. And this beautiful, whoops, sorry, sorry you guys. This beautiful, beautiful tin. Holy cow, this is gorgeous. Put that back. I just cleaned out my drawers and my little rolling cart here so that I can start putting some of this stuff away. Night Owl. Oh, this one is really cool. And for my friend Denise, if you're watching, this is the coolest owl thing ever. And I don't know if I ordered the actual... I ordered that set. Where is it? I might have missed it. Hang on. Oh, there's some more. Nope, I already showed you guys those. I don't know where the owl set is. Darn it. Sometimes I like skip things on my order. Yeah, it happens. Who else does that? Once in a while. Melanie, drink some white wine. <laughs> Denise, you're gonna love this. Look at this owl thinlet. So there's a stamp set that matches this and I guess I didn't order it. I don't know what happened to it if I did. Yeah, I don't see it here, but anyways. There's that one that cuts out the outline of an owl and then this very detailed owl. You're gonna love this one. I just know it. My friend Denise loves owls. What did I see in I saw an owl. Oh, we went to my mom and dad's house. My mom and dad, my dad's been gone for a while. That's such a habit, right? We went to my mom's house and um, we went, we always go around the block. Like it's a country block. So it's many, many miles of block. And we were looking for deer, and we saw an owl just sitting out in a field. It was pretty crazy. You don't see owls very often here. Kim loves owls. Yay! Yeah, Carol, I agree with you. This holiday catalog is crazy good. Like I said, if you guys don't have a holiday catalog and you need one, you don't have a demonstrator, you um, pop me a private message with your address, and I'd be happy to send one to you. Mine will be here, I think, next week. So this goes with this amazing tree stamp set. Oh, let me get all this out of here. That's glaring at you guys. Sorry about that. I try to be so good about not making you crazy. Hang on, I gotta move my phone cord too. But look at this beautiful, beautiful stamp set. And I'm pretty sure that, yep, these are the framelits that go with it. And here's a really cool thing that Stampin' Up! is doing now. 
Do you see there's a set of trees here? There's a little pine bow here, little pine cone. They're starting to give us multiples. This cuts that same pine cone, but you can stamp it a bunch of times and you can cut out two at once. Here's that little pine piece of pine tree, and there's three of those. They're the same framelit that allow you to cut out three at one time, and the same with this. This is the same springy tree, <laughs> springy tree, and you can cut out two of them at once, so that's really cool, and we so appreciate that. Okay, so winter woods and in the woods framelits. Put that away. Oh, this is okay. Hang on, I'm getting ahead of myself here. Are we still having fun, or do you guys want me to stop showing you stuff? Because I don't want to bore anybody. I would think this would be fun if I didn't get to see it, right? Yeah, Shelby, that's a big owl, 24 inches tall. <gasps> Here's the blizzard. Are you ready for this? This is super, super cool. Look at that. And it goes with this amazing stamp set. Look at the funky font, love fonts. Snowflakes are unique in their own beautiful way. And if a hug were a snowflake, I'd send you a blizzard. How cute is that? This is going to be amazing. When we were on the cruise, we had a share fair, they called it. And there were several demonstrators that um, Stampin' Up! either asked or they volunteered to make projects with new product. And this was one that they showed us. And there's some really cool things you can do with this. But this die cuts all those snowflakes. Like, holy cow, right? Uh-huh. Yeah, pretty cool. I knew I had to have that. I love snowflake cards. And, you know, you can use snowflakes, um, stamp sets, a bundle like this. We're in Wisconsin, so we can get snow anytime starting pretty much in October and it lasts through like May on and off so we can do snowflakes for a long time okay detailed leaves I don't remember what this goes with but we'll find it don't worry oh I know what it goes with <gasps> this funky little leaf set yep this one falling for leaves and I love these funky um thinlets they're just super cool there's, my imagination is just running wild with all the ideas using this Falling for Leaves bundle. I don't know why these don't push down in there easier. Kind of makes me a little crazy. Okay, my friend Dina won the stamp set in Prize Patrol when we were on the cruise. And I have to tell you, I was like, oh my gosh, that's the one I want. And I won something else, so don't worry. But um, I knew I had to have this right away. Look at that. <gasps> Gorgeousness. This is going to be so, so pretty. So, and the cool thing is, is that you see all these little ornaments here. You can stamp them and you can punch them out. And then you can stamp these across the card and then just take one or two of these and pop them up on dimensionals to give it a upsy downsy look. Beautiful. These are gorgeous. This is two different dies. This is one, this is one, and then that ball is one too. This is gonna be very, very popular. Called Beautiful Baubles Stamp Set and Detailed Baubles Thinlets. Super cool. All right, Cauldron Framelits. Hello, Halloween, my favorite little season. I love Halloween. I made a Mike Wazowski costume when Haley was about 12 years old and um, it's made out of the green furry, just like Mike Wazowski from Monsters Incorporated. And I wear that every year on Halloween to hand out candy. So I love Halloween. Here are the framelits that go with... Nope. They don't go with that one. Do they? I don't think so. Oh, maybe I screwed up again and didn't order that set. Yeah, I don't think this is it. I think I missed it, you guys. But it's a really cute little Halloween set. <laughs> and of course I wanted to use it. Hmm, that's weird. So I'll have to look at my packing slip and see what's going on because this is kind of the second thing. I needed the, the owl set and this Halloween set. Maybe Kelly will have another order going in. But anyways, these are super cute. You've got a little witch, a broom, a cauldron, some spider webs, a hat, a ghost, and some stars in the cauldron framelits dies. I'll just set that aside so I don't forget. This is Trick or Tweet. And um, this is a cute little Halloween stamp set. 
<laughs> yeah, look at the masked elephant. Isn't that cute? And we've got a mummy cat here. That's fun. And let's see, Peaceful Noel. Hmm. Oh, that's what that punch goes with. Yay, we found it. Thank you for your help. I really appreciate it. Um, yeah, Shelby, time to place another order. I know it's been like since uh, Wednesday. <laughs> This punch goes with the Peaceful Noel, and isn't this pretty? These are just some very pretty, we've got some watercolor elements in here, some great fonts on these greetings. I love stamp sets like this because there's just so many things you can do with them. Okay, and what else do I have here? Timeless Tidings. Yeah, I don't, um, a nice greeting set, but I'm wondering if there's framelits to go with it, and I'm not really sure. I'll check into it. I'll let you guys know next week. But some great fonts, a great greeting set. Love the um, poinsettia in here and the Christmas tree and the mistletoe or ivy or whatever you want to call that. And then we have the country home that matches that designer series paper I showed you with the cotton plants on it. So we've got a milk can and a pitcher. How cute is that to have flowers coming out of those? And then it's also got a little element like that embossing folder I showed you. Very cool. Okay, and then the last thing that I have to show you, <coughs> excuse me, out of my box, guess what's back? Yeah, uh, shimmer paint. And we have it in four different colors. So we've got copper, gold, white, and champagne. And if you guys remember shimmer paint, we carried this a few years ago. It is amazing. You can do so many different things with it. I'm super excited to be able to show this to you again because oh, I love shimmer paint. Love, love, love it. Okay, let me get this stuff off my desk here so we can do a little stamping. And then when we're done doing our little stamping, I will show you the swap cards that I promised last week. And I'm glad I didn't try to show them to you last week because last week was horrible on our internet connection, right? Yeah, Christmas is your favorite holiday. I love Christmas too. Um, you know, Christmas is probably my favorite too. Halloween is a close second. I love, I love Halloween. Okay, hang on, this is a lot of, yeah, I've got four pages here, holy cow. I'm gonna set this aside with that set of framelits to figure out what happened to my stamp set, because I know I wanted that. I was planning on making some cards tonight. Oh well, it happens. Don't put your undies in a bundle, it'll be fine. All right, um, hang on, because this is a little crazy, right? Get all this paper off my desk. Glad I emptied out these drawers today. I don't know where I would've put all this stuff if I hadn't. Okay. Here we go. And more paper and a mini catalog. And I think we're good. Oh, let me get rid of these markers. Oh my gosh, that was a lot of work. I'm sweating now. <laughs> it's pretty hot in here. Um, something just fell. I actually considered um, doing my live broadcast from the camper. My summer home, if you remember correctly, that's what I'm calling it. Because there's air conditioning in there and it's just really warm in here. But we'll be okay. All right, ladies and gentlemen, don't want to um, exclude anybody. Let's see if I can find my stamp set. Hang on, I thought I had it in here, but I don't. So I've got my stamp set coming in. We're gonna be using this All Things Thanks for one of our projects, the You Are Amazing. I love the font in here too. This is really, really pretty. Hi Rose, thank you. I'm glad you could make it. Um, then I've got some ink pads and I'll tell y'all about those in a minute. Oops, and some ribbon. And I need another drink. Wow. Okay. And then I've got all these sample cards to show you, which I know you're going to love. 
but where is my stamp set? Hang on. There it is. Okay. So I wanted to make sure that I show you this. This is the Blended Seasons bundle. Now, this and the matching framelits are only available in the month of August. So this is a limited edition bundle. Like, um, we had Thoughtful Branches last year, I believe, was our, no, it was the Eastern Palace bundle. So this is like that. This is the Blended Seasons. It's only available in the month of August. And um, you can order the stamp set, the framelits, or both in a bundle. And look at how awesome these framelits are. So... It cuts out this really cool image and it leaves little stitches around the outside edge not only on the image but on the negative that you would normally throw away so you can use this and you can um, use it as the front of a card and it's got all this stitching on it. it's just really cool so you get three sizes so that's neat and then I just have some extra leaves here that I cut out that I was gonna use on something and then changed my mind. So I just like to keep those in my envelope with my framelits so I might use it on something in the future. And then I've cut out all these images so you can see exactly what we've got here. Now this is the bundle that I have an online class coming out on the 25th of August. So you'll want to check out the details on that. Then we also have these new assortment number two watercolor pencils. And there's 10 different colors in here. And they are gorgeous colors, but they're all new colors. Remember we have watercolor pencils. And there's, um, how many are in this pack? Like 13? So we have 10 new colors that just came out. And it's part of the offering with this. Now, Stampin' Up! has not said that these watercolor pencils are only available during August. They said they may be available in the future, and I think they probably will, but I don't have any insider information there. But this bundle is only available during August, so I just want you to know that. Okay. Woo! Kelly's a sweatin'. Um, we are going to make our cards. I've got a super, super cute little project tonight. It's a um, cards and a box for the cards to go in. I think you're gonna love it. So what I've got here is I've just got four pieces of cardstock. Coastal Cabana, same with the ink. So Saffron, same with the ink. Grapefruit Grove, same. And then Petal Pink, same. So that's the cards. These are all four and a quarter by 11, scored at five and a half. Yeah, um, Raylene, the watercolor pencils are actually um, artist quality. I have some artists that do purchase product from me and they love our aqua painters. Okay, aqua painter. They love our aqua painters because they are such good quality. And our blender pens they love and they also love our watercolor pencils along with our stamp and blend alcohol markers because they're all fantastic. So did I miss any questions? Eastern Palace items are, oh yeah, so it wasn't the Eastern Palace. I think it was the Thoughtful Branches stamp set that, that was um, a one month availability, a limited time only. So I think I just got a little confused on that. I told you that I can't remember stuff, so <laughs> I really can't. Okay, so I'm just going to fold on my score line and let me get this out of the way for a second. Make sure this is straight and then burnish these edges good. I'll do that for all four of my cards. Now this is gonna be four cards and four envelopes with a little box that I think you guys are just gonna love. I don't know if Arliss is watching tonight, but she shared a little box that she made some boxes up um, a couple weeks ago. And I had asked her for the pattern. And, um, she would have shared it with me. Hang on, I'm grabbing some envelopes. She would have shared it with me, except that she it was a purchased tutorial. So you can't share stuff like that. That's a no-no, right? You don't want to share stuff that people 
people are asking you to pay for. But I knew that I had made a box very similar to the one that she had um, several years ago. So I went and did some digging around, and I think it was actually from 2012. <laughs> but you're going to love the box. So I'm going to grab four envelopes here. Um, I don't know where you guys get your envelopes, but we do have envelopes in vanilla and white and clear envelopes. And these are very high quality. Stampin' Up, of course, has very high quality product. All right, next, I'm gonna bring in the other layers here. I have Whisper White, and these layers are three and three quarters by five. We're doing four cards, so I've got four layers of white. And then I've got Basic Black here, and this is, nope, I'm sorry. The black is three and three quarters by five, and the white layers are just an eighth of an inch smaller at three and five eighths by four and seven eighths. And, um, hi Arliss, yay, I'm making a box kind of like what you had. One of these is just a scrap. Um, what was I just gonna say? Gosh, see, I forget things, I can't remember. <laughs> Does anybody else have that problem? I think it's time for a drink, like, don't get up and go get a drink, but take a sip of whatever you have. Yeah. Okay. Beth's favorite color is Coastal Cabana. I love Coastal Cabana too. And yes, Mary Olson, these cards are, these are really pretty colors together, right? Okay. We are going to use the big flower image from our Blended Seasons stamp set. I've got my chamois here because I'm going to have to clean off my my um, stamps. My stamp, I should say. And this is the Petal Pink, which is kind of a very pale peachy color. I love this one. Get that all inked up. And we're going to just stamp it. Right like that. Okay, so that's all I've done here. Uh, you know what? I think I want it more in the middle. Remember, there's always two sides to a piece of cardstock. So I'm going to stamp that more in the middle. There we go. That'll work perfect. And then we're going to bring in the Sew Saffron. And we're going to stamp these flowers. Now what I'm making here is a set of note cards. Stamp that in the middle. Well, that's not very much in the middle. <laughs> Boy, Kelly. Get it together. Here we go. Okay, that's better. So saffron. And we're gonna clean our stamp again. How many of you have the chamois by now? Michelle turned 38 and she forgets too. Oh, girlfriend, <laughs> just wait. It's bad. Um, the chamois, who has the chamois? I love, 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 love the chamois. I, I've told you guys before, if I haven't said it enough, you got to get one. They are amazing. I love that you can just take your stamp, go like that, and we're ready to roll. There's no fussing around. Um, there's no spraying stuff on it and scrubbing here and then drying there. And blah, blah, blah. You guys know I don't like all that messing around. So yeah, I love the chamois. And here comes Grapefruit Grove. That looks pretty good. Did okay there. I'm gonna clean it off again and let me close this and I'm gonna close up my little pink and then here comes the coastal cabana which is our favorite color right Beth <laughs> Beth you don't want to get your chamois dirty get it dirty you know what you can buy another one and you can keep it pristine how about that Jody loves the chamois who else has the chamois? Linda has the chamois. You gotta get the chamois. It's amazing. The chamois the best thing ever. And here comes Coastal Cabana. Isn't that pretty? So these are very, very simple cards, but it's what I'm gonna do to the card that I think you're really gonna love. Let me find my glue. And we've got all four of these, and I'm just gonna show you how quick and easy it is to make. A set of cards like this. Oh look, I did it on the back side too. <laughs> yeah. Must have had a boo-boo when I was practicing. I shouldn't say practicing, when I was coming up with this idea so I could figure out what I was gonna do for you guys tonight. 
I want to do something super fun. I wanted to show you how great this bundle is because I'm really glad that I have it in my library of stamping supplies for sure. Now I've just got that teeny, teeny, teeny little sixteenth of an inch border on these cards and it just gives you that little pop. It just makes things pop when you use a border like that, a really dark border like basic black. And remember, all the dimensions and ingredient links, if you want to order something, are posted on my blog every Tuesday from my Facebook Live. So tonight's projects will go up on my blog Tuesday. And before I forget, guess what I have going on? Tomorrow, the Color Fusers blog hop, I made five cards to show you in this blog hop using a very cool color combination. There's five different colors. We have to use all the colors in our project and boy that can be rather challenging to come up with something like that and figure out what you're going to do. So make sure you check out my blog tomorrow for the Color Fusers blog hop. You can see what I made. Okay and I'm just going to put each one of these on their corresponding card base. So this is um, Kosukbana. This one is So Saffron. And like I said, I'm just making up a set of note cards. And this is a gift idea. We'll talk more about who that gift is for when I show you the box that you're going to love. All right. So yeah, we had 21 people over today swimming. And you guys know that, well, you know, if you know me, you know I live in this really old house. And it's like, oh, she has a character home. Nope. Character, except the characters living in it. <laughs> Me and my husband. It's just an old house. It's just an old house that needs a lot of work and blah blah blah. But the house that we have, we bought because it had five bedrooms. And at the time, all my stepkids were living with us when we bought this house. And then Haley. So we had four kids. So we bought it because it had five bedrooms, which was awesome. And, uh, so we have this giant swimming pool and it is like the best thing ever. I really wanted the pool and the five bedrooms, so that was nice. Okay, so um, I am using the letter, large letter alphabet dies. And I have to tell you guys, oh, these are amazing. I use these a lot. There's a whole bunch of little images in here and then all of these letters. They're fabulous. They're great for making signs. They're great for making banners. They're great for scrapbooking. They're great for making personalized cards. I just love them. So I am going to um, make a monogram set of cards. That's what I'm doing here. And um, holy cow, I've got 220 people watching me right now, you guys. Thank you so much. Please don't forget to share my video. Thanks, Heather, for the update. Please don't forget to share my video. Um, I really appreciate that, and that really does help me out. Okay, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to cut out four letter P's because this is going to be a monogram set of note cards that I'm going to give to my sister-in-law, Pam, who is visiting Wisconsin from San Diego right now. So I thought, who better to give a paper craft gift to than a paper crafter? She is an amazingly talented card maker and scrapbooker. All right, so through the magic of TV, I already have four P's cut out. I know, isn't that crazy how that happens? <laughs> I love it. Um, I know you guys don't want to sit and watch me. Unless I'm doing something special, you don't want to sit and watch me do... Eh. Um big shot stuff, right? Okay, hang on, I'm looking for my dimensionals, and I think I just got them. Oops, that isn't done. Leave it there. Okay, so here's my little mini dimensionals. These things are fabulous. Who has mini dimensionals? If you have mini dimensionals, type MD in the comments. Let me know who all has purchase these mini dimensionals because I know if you own them, you love them. They are the best and they are just the perfect little size. You don't have to cut anything. I was always cutting my other dimensionals in half to do something like this and bleh. 
that's just, did you like the sound effects? Blech. Yeah. Who wants to be doing that? Look at that. We got four little mini dimensionals. You get like 700 dimensionals in a pack. There you go. And Denise just used hers last night. Excellent. Okay, so we are going to put our little P on our note cards. And here's one other thing that I wanted to do today, but I never got to the store because I was, we had a Mexican fiesta party today. So I was cooking taco meat and making all kinds of stuff for food. It really was quite easy too. We used to put on some really big, big, big parties in the summer. We haven't had a party in a long time, so I was a little rusty. <laughs> but we had, um, we had tacos, so I made taco meat today. We had Steve, he likes to take chicken and cut it up and put it in a tinfoil pan with red and yellow peppers and salsa and all kinds of seasonings. Throw it on the grill, lots of onions too. Throw it on the grill and cooks it up and that's like chicken fajitas. So we had that. And then um, Stephanie made a taco platter, you know, like with taco chips and dips. So we had all the fixin' fixings for tacos and fajitas today and pretty much all the food was gone so we had just the perfect amount of people but that was really fun so yeah we have this giant swimming pool in our big backyard and um, I know people think my girlfriend Dina always teases me that I live in a gated community because of the swimming pool the swimming pool is beautiful but believe me my community is not gated <laughs> and those of you that have been here to pick up orders you're laughing right now right <laughs> Oh, Deborah, MD is mini dimensionals. I told everybody, if you have mini dimensionals to let me know who has mini dimensionals. So just type MD for mini dimensionals in the um, comment section. Because I know if you have mini dimensionals, you love them. So yeah, thank you very much. Who just said how pretty are these? I missed, I missed your name, but thank you so much because these are just super easy. Now we're gonna do some more things to these, so don't don't go any place. Oh, let's put the P, how about we do this way so you can see. These are monogrammed for my sister-in-law, Pam, who I will get to see next Saturday at a party. Yeah, I love parties. Oh, and here's the other thing I wanna do. So I was looking for a little flower punch, and this little bunny tail from the Bunny Rabbit Builder Punch is what I came up with. So I think you're gonna really like this. I hope that's not glaring at you. But I've got little scraps here of all of our colors and I'm just going to punch out a bunny tail. So um, you and I will know that we're putting tails on Pam's um, initial, but she will not know this because I'm pretty sure she's visiting with my in-laws right now. She is not watching this video. <laughs> so yeah, so she's not going to know that we're putting bunny butts on her cards. She will just think they are flowers. <laughs> yeah, is it time for another drink? I do not have any alcohol in my glass. I kid you not. Today, my friend Rachel brought over margaritas and I wouldn't even have one because I knew it would just make me tired and I needed to be spunky and on my game for tonight, right? Okay, so here are these little bunny butt tails and I'm gonna take the stylus from my Simply Scored tool and I'll show you that in just a minute, the, the tool itself, and I am just going to poke it in the middle. And can you see what happens when you do that? It just makes the flower kind of pop up. Yes, Dawn, you're right. Some of the paper pumpkin kits have had mini dimensionals in them and they are fabulous and those count too. So I'm just taking my stylus, I'm using the bigger end and I'm just pushing it down in there so it crunches up my little flower and gives it kind of a 3D effect. And this is just a neat little way to add a little something something to your little flower, right? Okay, so now I need, yep, you guessed it. We obviously need some diamonds on here because whoa, why not? Some beautiful diamonds in the center of these flowers. I know Pam loves bling. And 
She's gonna love these little flowers. I thought about making several sets of these, like the party that I'm going to next weekend is after my card buffet on Saturday, which by the way, gals that are local in the area, I have a card buffet on Saturday from 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. You get to make eight cards. You get to choose from a selection of 16, which eight you wanna make. And you can do it for free with a $25 order, or you can pay me $18, which is a pretty darn good deal for a fun morning, right? Okay, here's all our cute little flowers. And then I'm going to bring my monogram cards in here. So if anybody wants to come to the card buffet, I'm doing that in the morning. And then when my card buffet is done, I'm heading over to the north side of Appleton to go to this party, which I think will be super fun. It's a, it's a um, local wedding party. Remember back in the end of April, I went to Mexico. I went to Mexico for a family wedding my niece Rachel got married and she lives in Colorado and now she is in Wisconsin to have a local party for the family and friends that couldn't come to Mexico so that's where I'm gonna be on Saturday and I will be seeing my the whole um, husband's side of the family which I really like I, I get along great with them you guys follow me on Facebook you saw I was at Jethro Tull concert Thursday night and I went with my sister-in-law Candace and her husband Mike look at how cute is that you guys <gasps> do you love it now you saw how easy this card was to make right for those of you that may have tuned in late we are using the blended seasons bundle it is a um, only available during the month of August so comes with um, framelits and stamp set, you can buy them individually or together in a bundle. Love, love, love. You're gonna see a ton of stuff. I have cards to show you using all of them too, so hang tight. Okay, now we need to talk about our envelopes. Here's what I wanted to do with my envelopes. Let me clean this up because I don't remember. Since um, Coastal Cabana is like our favorite color, right, Denise? <laughs> I'm gonna do the Coastal Cabana I'm going to grab a scrap piece of paper and I'm going to make this match my card. So I'm grabbing the scrap piece of paper to put it right over the flap. Look at that. Let's turn this around so we can get this nudged right up in there. We're going to decorate this up so it is gorgeous. Okay, here we go. Look at that. How pretty is that? And I will do this for every one of these cards, make a matching envelope, because why wouldn't you, you guys? Why wouldn't you? Nobody likes a naked envelope. <laughs> Somebody sent that to me in a message the other day. Nobody likes a naked envelope. So there we go. Um, we got our pretty little envelope. Let me close this up. Now we're gonna make the box, and you are going to be absolutely amazed at how easy this box is. Like, I know all of you will be making these boxes because they're stinking adorable. All right, let me set that aside. And I can't forget, don't let me forget to do the circle punch because I forgot it on the sample that I made and then I was so mad at myself and da 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 da. All right, we're gonna use, guess what, Denise? Coastal Cabana. That's right, that's gonna be the color of our box. And then I chose the um, Share What You Love specialty paper. That's the paper that I'm gonna use that's gonna decorate my Coastal Cabana box because I love this bright colorful and I thought that these are the colors in it and this would look really pretty with this. Don't worry, it's not gonna be too busy because it's just a small little piece. We're gonna bring in the um, Simply Scored tool. And remember a few minutes ago when I said the stylus came from the Simply Scored tool? Yeah, this is that tool. And we're gonna make this box. Now, this box is, and again, all these measurements, and I'll, I took a picture of the template, will be posted on my blog on Tuesday. So you don't have to like try and remember all this stuff. But this is nine and three quarters by eight and a half. First thing we're gonna do is we are going to score this at one inch. 
and I'm using the smaller end of the stylus. For cardstock, use the smaller end. If you were doing designer series paper and putting score marks in it, you're gonna use the bigger end. Um, yes, Linda, the information will all be on my blog. My blog is www.astampabove.com. On Tuesdays, I post at 6.30 in the morning. You will find all these projects, beautiful pictures of them. And I say beautiful because sometimes the quality of these live feeds isn't good. So you can see crystal clear pictures. And I do take nice pictures. <laughs> so let's be real about that. Um, you'll get to see crystal clear pictures and also all the dimensions and details. And there's ordering links. If you need to order something, it'll be there also. There'll be links to the blended season bundle. Okay, so we're gonna score at one inch, and then we're gonna score at six and three quarters. I've got six and three quarters here, and then seven and three quarters. Then we're going to turn this, and now we've got the eight and a half inch layer at the top. This way, the nine and a half inch layer was at the top. Now. I'm sorry, nine and three quarters. Sorry, I don't mean to confuse you. Nine and three quarters. And now the eight and a half inch side is at the top. And then we're going to score at, oh, did I just screw that up? Hang on, let me think about this for a second. Nope, I'm good. We're gonna score at one inch, two inches, six and a half, and seven and a half inches. That is perfect. Okay. Whew. It's a lot of pressure, you guys. <laughs> All right. Then, I like to use my big scissors and my little scissors when I'm cutting this stuff out. So, we are going to come in from the sides. And we are going to cut to the second score line. You know, this is just a typical looking kind of box set up here. We cut to the second score line. We're going to cut both of these off, just like that. We're going to do the same thing on the other end. You're going to cut to that second score line and cut that outside tab off. Okay, pretty, pretty simple so far, right? Now we're going to turn it around and do the same thing. And again, this is the nine and three quarters inch side that I'm coming in. Nine and three quarters coming in. Cut that off. And then we're going to come down here and here and we're going to cut these two off. Okay. Now, this is where I like to come in with my paper snips and take just a little bit off, take a little wedge off of these tabs because you're going to find that when you do that, your projects go together much better when you go to fold and put your boxes together. And it could be a bigger wedge. It doesn't have to be a teeny weeny wedge, but just the tabs though. You don't want to cut anything off of like this piece. It's just the tabs that you take this wedge out of. And remember, if you want to get all of these dimensions and you didn't happen to write them down and you want them tonight so you can go make this once I am done with my live feed, I do post this video to my Facebook page, which is the page you're on, and you can go back and watch it, and you can pause it and fast forward it and rewind it and do whatever you need to do just like you can on YouTube. So I always have people asking me questions, and I'm like, mm, you can go watch that. It's, it's there, and you can speed right up to the project that you're looking for answers. Not that I mind your questions, but... You know, sometimes you have to wait an hour or two till I see your question, and it's always a night. I'm a kind of a I need stuff now type of person. So, let you know where you can find that. All right, so we have scored and burnished almost all the edges here. Hang on, I thought I was done, but I'm not. There we go. And one more. Just full burnish all the edges. Okay. Now, I want to do a little dry fit here to make sure that this is going to fit and it looks like it's going great. We're going to pull in these tabs. Okay, we've got one, two, three, and four. Okay, can you see all those? 
we're going to put glue on the, the, once you pull them in, we're going to put glue on these tabs. This is like the easiest little box you'll probably ever make. Well, it's pretty close to being the easiest, let me tell you. It's pretty simple. Okay, and now we are going to fold this up and push that side up. And then you want to make sure that you are squaring up those corners, okay? I'm going to do the same thing over here. Square up that corner nice, because you want your box to be nice and square, right? Yep. And then we're going to do the same thing down here. Now it gets a little harder. Let me push this back so you can see what I'm doing here. I'm going to bring this in here and square up that tab. Square up that corner. And do the same with this one. Okay, and now on these two flaps right here, we're going to add some glue and we're going to glue those down. Now you guys see me scribble a lot with this glue, right? Just know that I am putting very teeny tiny lines of glue on here. I'm not gobbing glue on. A lot of people ask me like, they get their cardstock is welting up where they put glue on and you're using too much. You need to just use really little tiny lines of glue. Believe me, none of these boxes, things that I make, do not fall apart. Okay, are you ready for this? This is what we have so far. Okay, you're going to take this, and you're just going to fold it down like that and put these flaps on here. Oh, I did it again, you guys. I forgot to punch my hole. Before you glue this together, you need to punch a hole here, like a half of a circle. So I'm going to make it happen. Just hang on don't have to ram it in like I'm doing. <laughs> but I just, oh my gosh, that made me so mad. Can you tell? <laughs> so you want a little um, half a circle here, and this is the one and a quarter inch circle punch. So before you glue this at all, you want to punch a half a circle out right there, because that's going to help you get your cards out. Now, you're going to put some glue on this tab, and some glue on this tab. And then you're gonna fold this down and you're gonna fold it right up just like that. See how that works? Now this is gonna be the holder for our note cards, but I've got some other things to show you too. We're gonna to bring in our Share What You Love Designer Series paper. Isn't this pretty? And I'm gonna kinda of center it here and fold it over the edge and then I'm gonna grab it and fold it so I know that it's straight and it's not like doing one of these numbers, okay? And then we're gonna do the same thing to this side. So you can measure this and score it, but that seems like a lot of work when it's pretty easy just to kind of fold it around the edges of your box. And that's what I do until I get it all done. Do this, just like that. And then the last one is this one. Okay, here we go. Okay, we're ready to glue this on. And then I have a little label for the front. And then I'll show you some neat little things. I've got another box like this that I made with all different paper. So you wanna hang around. Okay, here we go. A Little bit of glue here. Yep, that'll just hold it in place nicely. I want to make sure this is centered. And looks pretty darn good. There we go. And then we're going to glue it around the back here. So I'll just put some glue right on my box. We'll do this. And then I'll put a little bit of glue here. Oh, look at it, it meets up just perfect. Whew. It's a lot of pressure. <laughs> Isn't that pretty? Look at that cute little box. Okay, hang tight. Because now I'm gonna bring in, I used my Stitched Shapes framelits. And remember, I told you I was gonna use this You Are Amazing. So I stamped that and cut it out with my Stitched Shape 
framelit that is an oval. I have a black layering oval scallop here and I'm going to put this right on here and then we're going to grab some big dimensionals and I want to make sure that this stays on here so I'm going to put three of them on here usually two would just be plenty put your fingernail in the middle to make those edges kind of pop up so you can get the backs off with ease and here we go. Hang on, we gotta embellish this just a tad, don't you think? And we are going to grab our Bunny Builder Punch. Where did that go? Here it is. I've got one of these little scraps that I cut off the edge. We're gonna make a little flower. Boop. And our stylus. piercing mat. I'm doing this way over on the edge so I don't poke holes in my scrap paper here. That's the only reason. There we go. Put these on with mini glue dots. Those just seem to stick really good. What I, oh, I think I'm going to put it right there. And then where did those... Here's my diamonds. Of course, you're going to put some bling on that flower because, like I said before, why wouldn't you? <laughs> Isn't that pretty? Okay, let's put this whole thing together now so you can see the method of my madness. So here is our beautiful set of cards. Oh, I know what I was going to tell you. I got sidetracked. I was going to take and put, I was going to go to the store and get some high quality printer paper or like resume paper and cut that just a quarter of an inch smaller so it would fit in here like I would fold it and it would, it would be some nice paper just to write a note in because these really are note cards and that's what I was going to do but because I had that party today I didn't have time to run to the store so I highly recommend that but here's what I would do. I would put my envelope and I always like to kind of tuck that right there. Here's our first card and it fits in there just perfectly. Remember, I'm gonna stamp up all of these envelopes to match my cards. Here's another one. Here's another one. Here comes our grapefruit grove. And then here is that petal pink one. Put that in there just like that. And isn't this just stinking adorable? I could actually put a, at least two more cards and envelopes in here into this box. So I have another box that I made you and wanted to show you. But first I wanted to tell you, this is actually, the idea for this was actually so you could put note paper in here. So. You could take a whole bunch of typing weight paper and you're going to cut it into quarters and it's going to fit in here perfectly. So you're going to cut it at four and a quarter and then five and a half and you make a whole stack of these and this will be note paper that somebody can keep on their desk or on their kitchen counter to make notes. I could keep this on my desk. So once the cards are gone, the person can then use it for a um, little note paper pack. Or you can make it as a note paper pack instead of putting cards in it. I just thought it's a super cute idea. And it's really easy to make. And who doesn't love a gift, right? So I'm giving this to Pam. P for Pam. And she's going to absolutely love it. I can guarantee it. Okay, so I want to, I've got another project to show you. Oh, I've got this template here. And I'll just leave it sit here for a minute while I get my other thing out. So you guys, will, it'll be on the screen when I, you know, post this to Facebook. Um, what was I going to do? I was going to show you the cards, but where are they? They are, I set them, oh, right here. Oh, thank goodness. <laughs> so the blended seasons. 
stamp set and matching framelits. Um, I don't want these to glare at you, so I'm trying to set them up. Look at these cards. So I've got a bunch of swap cards. We've got some Christmas, lots of Christmas. This is a great stamp set for Christmas. And then we've got this one, and isn't that pretty? This is our soft sea foam, and it's stamped in soft sea foam on the background, and then they use the framelits with our big satin ribbon. That's pretty. Here is a gorgeous grape card. I know, I tried to show these to you guys last week, but the quality was so horrible, I thought I'd show it to you again. Here is a yellow version. Very pretty. Here's a fall version. And look at, they used the um, gold glimmer paper for that leaf dye that is in here. Then we've got a bunch of Christmas. So how about this one? Isn't that cute? And here comes another one. Look at those little elements. Those are made, done with the um, silver foil paper. Here comes another one with that bell die cut on there. And another one. This is our designer series paper that's in the big catalog. I can't remember what it's called. I don't know, but it's in there. <laughs> Mistletoe or something like that. Isn't this pretty? Yeah, very beautiful. I love the pearlized doily. Just a little peek of it coming out there. And one more where we've got those leaf dies. This is early espresso. They actually took the holly and gold embossed it on this early espresso layer. That's beautiful. Got the granny apple green ribbon in the back and those gold little swirly deals. Very, very pretty. I have one more to show you. And this is beautiful, right? This uses press and seal and then they put dazzling diamonds glitter on it and pushed it down so that it sticks to that window. Isn't that creative? Very, very pretty. Okay, you guys ready to see the other box that I made? Let me get that out. Get this mess out of the way here. Don't forget to share my video if you've tuned in late. I really appreciate the shares. <gasps> Look at this one. This uses the stitched, let's see, what's this called? Stitched all around stamp set. Oh, darling, you are fabulous. So we've got that stamp set is where the greeting came from. Then I used the ruffled ribbon in fresh fig. Love, love, love this deep burgundy purplish color. It's really pretty. And then here are my note cards. Oh, petal promenade paper. And then this is Sahara sand. And let me pull my note cards out. So you would think that I made this for me, which would be a great idea, but I did not. I made this for my mom. And I did not use M for mom, but I used K for Karen. <laughs> And again, I wanted to put that resume quality paper in here. So I would fold my paper in half, just like a card. And then I put a little bit of um, tape right here so that it sticks in there and she can write a note to whomever. But I did the same thing with the little flower and the rhinestone. This is again, the large letter framelits, which are, you know, they're expensive, but you've got a whole alphabet in here, but they're so worth it. You guys, they're fabulous. Plus, if you um, boost your order up to $150, you get $15 in free money from Stampin' Up. You can choose some of our exclusive hostess sets. So that's cool. But yeah, how fun is this, right? I thought this was just beautiful. Love, 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 love. Yay, thank you guys so much. I so appreciate it. Um, a great idea here, a great gift. I know that anybody I give this gift to is gonna absolutely love it. 
And don't forget, if you need to order any Stampin' Up! supplies, I always appreciate your orders. It's what keeps me in business. Here is my hostess code for the month. When you place your order, if it's under $150, please use that host code. That is what helps me get the giveaway stuff that I give as prizes um, to all of you for commenting on this live video. So make sure you comment so that I can enter you in the drawing. Sharing my video, which you can click on that share button right now and share my video. And also for placing your online orders. So three prizes at least every single week. Okay, you guys. I hope you have a wonderful week. I will be back next week, Sunday night, 7 p.m. Central Time. And um, once again, I just want to really thank you for your support. I so appreciate it. We had a lot of people watching this week, and that just makes me giddy. I'm um, so blessed to have all of you watching me on Sunday night. I'm glad I'm your Sunday, Sunday night entertainment because um, that just warms my heart. Thanks, you guys. Any questions, comments that you would like to leave, please um, feel free to. I am going to sign off right now. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your Sunday night and a fabulous week. Bye-bye.